I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some excellent questions. Now these questions involve number of concepts which you have to put together to solve a problem. Question here is relating to points in a triangle. Let's read the question first. The number of points having both coordinates as integers that lie in the interior of the triangle with vertices 0, 0, 0, 31 and 31, 0 is. We are given six choices. We need to figure, figure out which one is the right choice. So let's try to sketch and understand what the question really is. Meanwhile, I would like you to pause the video, think about it, try to find an answer and then look into my suggestion. Now when we say that the coordinates of the vertices are 0, 0, that means that's the origin, and then we have 0, 31 and 31, 0. So that means x and y intercepts are 31. So we, what we can do is make a triangle. So that's the triangle we are talking about. Now in this triangle, the points here are 31 and 31, right? So these are your points. And when you connect these points, you get a triangle. Now the question is, how many points inside the triangle have coordinates as integers, right? Like 0, 0, 0, 31, 31, 0 are integers, right? So we need these kinds of integers. How many of them are within the boundary of this triangle? So we have to exclude the points which are on them. Do you understand? When we say inside, then the very first point will be 1, 1, which is inside the triangle. So let's understand that, right? Inside means we are excluding the points which are on the boundary, right? So 1, 1, and then the next will be 2, 1, right? Then we'll have 3, 1. Likewise, the last point inside will be what? If I move one step, then on this, it should be 31, and 30 and 1 will be on the hypotenuse of this triangle. Let's, to be, to be very clear, let's find the equation of this hypotenuse. What is the equation of this line? Well, this line has a slope of negative 1, right? y is minus 31, and x is 30. So, slope is negative 1, and the y-intercept for this line is 31. Therefore, we can write down the equation of this line as y equals to minus x plus 31, right? So, that becomes the equation of this line. So basically, the sum of x and y points, which is x plus y, is basically 31, right? If my coordinate point is 30 for x, then y will be 31, and this point will lie on the hypotenuse, right? So how many points do I have inside? In the very first row, I have 29 points, right? Starting from 1, 1, to 1, 2, to, sorry, 2, 1 I should have written. Well, one. Two, let me say now vertical points, since I wrote 1. If you go up like this. In that case, those are the points. But let us see horizontal points first. So horizontal points will be 1, 1, and then we will be having 2, 1. Likewise, still 30 and 1 will be on the triangle, so we'll consider 29, 1, right? So that means we have 29 points in the first row or the bottom row of this triangle, right? So we have 29 points. As we move up, these number of points are going to reduce. Do you see that? So this point here will be 1, 2, right? Then it will be 2, 2. You see that? So, so the y points will be decreasing, correct? And so we'll have 28 points in the next row. And similarly, as we move up, these number of points will be reducing 
by 1 each time. So we'll have 28, 27, likewise 3, 2 and 1. So these are the number of points within the triangle whose coordinates will be integer values, right? Well, as far as the points are concerned, there are infinite number of points. But the points with integer values as both x and y coordinates will be these many. Some of these, right? So we're trying to find some of these. So we have to add these numbers up to get our answer, right? So that is the whole idea. So sum of first 29 numbers is close to our answer. Right? So what is the sum of first 29 numbers? One way is use the formula which is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Right? Sum of numbers. That formula can be utilized. n for us is 29. Right? So we do get 29 times 30 divided by 2 as our answer. Right? We could also derive this result. Derive how? If I add 29 and 1, what do I get? I get 30. Do you see that? I get 30. If I add 28 and 2, I will again get 30. If I add 27 and 3, I will get 30, right? So how many of these 30s am I going to get, right? 15 of them, half the combinations. Do you see that? So there will be... 50 combinations of this. So basically, it is going to be as equals to 29 times 15. All right? So 29 times 15 is the total number of points which will be inside this triangle having both x and y coordinates as integer values, right? Which is, if you calculate, 435. So, so that is the answer for this particular question and that is how we derive at it. I hope that makes sense. Thank you and all the best.